everybody. It's Erica, the boss lady with Trash Talkers Drunk Removal in Reno, Nevada. Um, hello. I hope you're all having a great day, a great start to the week. Um, today, I just wanted to touch base on the question that I get asked the most, which is, why junk removal? And I know that I get asked this question quite a bit, mainly because I'm a female. Um, I didn't really think much of it when, uh, you know, I started looking into this type of business um, as far as it being, you know, somewhat male dominated. Um, but I'm finding that that is definitely the case here. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll be working solo and I will show up to a job and, you know, the customer comes out of their house or whatever and they're like, are you by yourself? Where's your team? Are you going to be okay? Should I get my husband to help? And I'm just like, I'm like, you got four boxes. I mean, seriously. Or when I go to the dump and it's super fun and, you know, I've been there a million times, like I've said before, and they still ask me, are you going to be able to back up the trailer by yourself? Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's a whole other video, I suppose. But the reasons I started a junk removal business was because, you know, I already had the truck, already had the trailer. It kind of just made sense. Um, you know, my, uh, the job that I had been at for four, almost five years, um, you know, it was coming to an end and, and I was like, well, how can I work for myself? What can I do to get started right now and have some fun, have some freedom, you know? And it, so of course everybody goes to YouTube for everything. Right. And I came across junk removal. And so I started looking into it. And of course, like many of you watched hundreds of hours of videos, I'm sure. And, um, you know, it just, it clicked. I'm like, why wouldn't I do it? Why not? And, you know, so the hubby and I, we created some goals and um, pretty soon he will be joining me full time as well. Um, and so I'm pretty excited about that, that I won't necessarily have to do it by myself because, you know, jobs go a lot quicker when you're not alone, right? So, but yeah, freedom. That's, that's the big one for me, freedom. I can make it to all of my kids' school functions. I can drop them off to this or that. We can make doctor's appointments at any time of the day and not have to put in for time off and things like that. Um, freedom is huge um, and in more ways than one. It's not just freedom with your time, it's freedom financially. Um, you know, you can make as much money as you want to make. If you only want to work two hours in a day, go ahead. If you want to work 12 hours in a day, go ahead. Nobody's going to stop you. Um, so it's all up to you. What about you guys? Why did you get into the junk removal business? Do you just really like stuff like that? Do you like being outside? I kind of like being outside and I didn't realize it as much um, before, but now that I've had the opportunity to actually be outside when it's actually getting nice out, I'm getting a little bit tan, which is cool. Um, usually I'm kind of pasty all year round from being indoors at work. But um, so this is kind of nice, but um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. What do you love about junk removal? What do you love about being your own boss? And ladies, if you are in junk removal, what's it like for you? And are you the boss? You should be. Let those guys know we're in charge <laughs> or there should be more of us anyway. But yeah, you guys comment below, ask me any questions you've got, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.